Alrighty, so this uh, weather station, uh, when I got it, I just kind of slapped it up on this uh, fence post just for the time being to start getting some measurements just because I was eager to set it up. The recommendations though are to generally have it away from structures and trees. Um, I believe this is an anemometer. Um, they recommend that this be approximately 30 feet in the air. That is not reasonable unless you have like a flagpole. Um, they said though that if you do have all of the other sensors, uh, including the wind direction and the rain collector, um, that having it around six feet off the ground is okay. So if you have all of these combined, um, they said that on the website you can settle for around eight to 10 feet and that should be acceptable. Uh, my pole height here um, that I'm gonna be installing this on should put it at around 10 feet. The only thing that's holding it on is four uh, bolts really. Um, there are two U-bolts, uh, four nuts on them. Um, and it just slips right over the top of the post. All right, removing these is really easy. All you need is a 10 millimeter wrench. Oh, just make sure you're going in the correct direction. Ratcheting wrenches do make this a whole lot easier. So once you get these a little loose, it should just slide right off the top. Easy. So uh, a lot of this stuff I kind of impulse purchased at the uh, hardware store. Um, these are railing holders and they happen to fit really well uh, around the fence post. Um, but this uh, leftover post that was in the yard, I think the previous homeowner had a pool here. Um, it's a little bit too narrow, um, unfortunately, so this will overhang a little bit. So in order to fix that, um, I was gonna take a little strip of two by four that was a cutoff from a previous project. Um, I was thinking about either doing it this way or putting it on the side um, of the column here. I think I'm going to put it on the side. It's a little bit cleaner that way. Um, there's less material sticking out than compared to putting it on the side. Alrighty, so for uh, the mounting purposes, what we're going to end up doing is I want there to be a holder about four inches from the top, which would be right around this area. And then we're going to do another one down at uh, 16 inches from the top. So that way there's about a foot between the two holders uh, holding this vertically. Turn the speed up on the drill here a little bit. Alrighty, so we just need to square this off here real quick. Oh, that's unfortunate. Right there. Um, this is not precise. I'm just kind of eyeballing these here. I plan on using these lag bolts to attach the railing holder to the post. Because of their diameter though, I do need to pre-drill these holes to prevent the post and the pieces of 2x4 from splitting. 
Uh, before you go ahead and start attaching these, um, you're gonna wanna make sure too that you're square. Um, I know I didn't mention that before, um, but it's good to check your distances. Um, you wanna make sure that you're the same distance from the ends of the two by fours, both top and bottom. Um, these seem to be about right. Um, Cause if not, you'll end up with a crooked pole. Nobody likes a crooked pole. So I ran into an issue with this set screw here um, that's in the railing holder. Um, it was running into the impact driver, so I just got to screw this in here a little bit. We'll be on our way. All right, so my plan for these is I'm gonna put this set screw uh, pretty far in. What I want is when I put the pole through the two, um, I would like it to rest on this set screw and have this set screw hold it in place. All right, so now that we're up, uh, we just gotta check and make sure that we're level. Uh, according to the bubble, it is level this way. Um, you always wanna check both sides. It is also mostly level um, on that side. Um, so I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape. Now we just gotta get the weather station up on top of our homemade weather mast and take some measurements. All right, so this whole assembly is, you know, probably about a, a pound or less, maybe about half a pound. Um, something to note on here, too, when you're setting these up, um, I'm not sure if you can see it there on the, the focus, but there is a north arrow. Um, so this does need to be facing north uh, when it is installed in order to help calibrate it and make sure that you're getting appropriate measurements. Um, with these U-bolts loosened, if we're lucky, we should just be able to slide this over the top of the pipe. All right, so once you have all these snugged up, this uh, is pretty well on here. It shouldn't come off at all. Um, there's not even any play. Uh, this uh, fence rail um, is perfectly sized to have this on top of it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and set this up back over our new holder. All righty, so like I mentioned, uh, the north uh, marker that is on the weather station is in line with the rain collector. So pretty much down here we have a compass app. So we just need to do our best to point the rain collector towards the north, plus or minus a few degrees. It's close enough for government work. Um, and now we can finish setting our set screws and getting this thing tightened up. Um, once again, the set screw at the bottom is just holding the post up. Um, I just wanted to give it one extra turn to make sure that it's seated properly. Alrighty, well there it is. 
the new location for my homemade weather mast. It's only about 10 feet off the ground. Got to get this mess cleaned up. Say hello to the dog. But um, it's in a much better location. It used to be on this fence post right over here. That was kind of in the corner behind the house. Um, this is much more exposed, so hopefully we'll be getting uh, some better measurements. Um, like I said, you know, it's kind of fun to have. Uh, I live in a bit of a rural location, so having something like this is kind of fun. It's neat, keeps me entertained here and there. Plus, it does have a handy uh, docking station inside where it'll tell you all the weather uh, outside and all the conditions. Um, it's got stuff like rain rates, uh, barometric pressure. Um, it actually measures solar output and like UV index type information, uh, gusts, and it actually gives it to you on a bunch of different graphs. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, if you're interested in more information about that, I can do a review. Just leave a comment about that and I will put one together for you. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's kind of neat, especially if you live in a remote location. So uh, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Um, and like I said earlier as well, um, I will put uh, links to this device in the description in case you want to learn more about it as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good weekend.